Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly energetic messaging. If you would like a personal reading, go to my website, angelsouls444.com. No, I am not doing live video readings at this time. Too many people were taking advantage and trying to get double or even triple the time that they actually paid for. So, not doing that. Uh, the other thing, if you want to join me on a live on the Bright platform, got lots of cool sessions coming up, one on portals, and we're going to be looking at what a vortex is. That is out there, and of course, the bi-weekly hangouts where we just touch base about, again, energy. So it's this times 100, <laughs> and we are going to be tuning in to see what's up. So let's see what we have. We have a decision. You have to figure out where you are here. And Mary Magdalene, things not being the way, let's get another one, way they seem. Okay, you know what? These two kind of go hand in hand. So it's decision and Magdalene. Are you going to decide to be true to yourself? We're going to keep seeing, not, I don't want to say like uprisings. It's not that. It's just people speaking up and we might not be good at it <laughs> first. So anybody who has ever been through anything, a traumatic past, when you do try to get your strength back, you may not be communicating in a way that is very healthy, that, um, you know, it's sort of like I always say the wheels are coming off. So it's like you don't know how to express yourself. But this is... I just heard the decision to expose. I don't know, y'all. Oh my God. Okay. This might be, a, some of you might call this a reach, but Magdalene, someone treated you improperly as maybe a woman or as a feminine being. Okay. And up until now, all of this has been hidden. Now, you might not be the one. Uh, maybe not. Maybe you're not the one who does the exposing, but someone. No, you have a secret about someone. This feels like sexual harassment or just harassment in general, or you know what someone's been doing, but you couldn't speak up because at the time it was happening for you, to you, whatever, you wouldn't have been believed or you were just trying to survive. It's, it feels like it's, the message here is it's a different time now. It's coming out. This is coming out. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I'm getting chills because this is messy. This is messy. But on the other side of that, the other layer of messaging here is that you're making a decision to not not let other people superimpose their impression of who you are onto you and therefore define you, right? You're saying, no, we're not doing that. And you're freeing yourself. You're opening things up. That, those previous other cards, the two, other two cards could also mean you're letting go of an old situation. You're making the decision to cry your tears, be at peace, going with him, reclaiming yourself. And this opens up you know, the lifeline for some new energies to come in for inspiration and maybe for love. Or if this isn't love, this is a new boss or this is a business partner. This is someone that before when you were in the negativity space, when you were in the pain, when you're in the victimhood, and when I say victimhood this time, I mean somebody who actually had something happen to them. And you might have felt like trapped or felt like your voice was taken away, you know, all this unfair stuff and there's nothing you can do about it. When you release that and you allow yourself to be, as we keep saying, reclaimed, you open the door for that inspiration and someone comes along to help you, the beloved the beloved is all about a soulmate. It's about a soulmate who's here to reflect back to you. Maybe that reflects, and it depends on who you are and what work you've done. If you're a nasty person, that's probably going to be someone who's sensitive, <laughs> who just comes in and gives you the eye. Look at how she's looking like, you think you're so powerful? You don't know that I see right through you and all your games? Give me a break. That could be the kind of soulmate that shows up to get you out of your ego. 
Or it could be someone who shows up and says, hey, I see the beauty in you. No, I think you're absolutely talented. No, you can come be a part of our team. We appreciate you. We will respect you. There's all this talk. I don't know why this is coming up. I was going to say the company, but let me not because I'm not 100% sure if this was the company and I don't want to throw anybody under the bus. But isn't there a pretty huge company that makes people ask for permission to go to the restroom? And people are getting written up because they go to the restroom too often. I literally had this last place that I worked at. I mean, I worked at a lot of bad places, but this, this one takes the cake. But I actually worked temporarily for a boss who I had to go and tell him when I was going to the restroom and I had to let him know when I was back and he would time me. I kid you not. One time I went to the ladies room and I had a makeup bag, except there was no makeup in this bag. Okay. It was tampons and mydol. And I went off to the ladies room. Then I went to the pantry to get, uh, you know, some water to take my pills. And, uh, I came back and he said, you've been gone for four minutes. Now ladies comment down below. Is four minutes record timing for that? I think so. Okay, I think I think I did good. <laughs> but anyway, uh, he was he saw my makeup bag and he said, "You were gone for four minutes just touching up your makeup." Sick. Absolutely sick. And what I ended up doing was I, I just dropped my bag on my desk as he was saying this to me, and you could hear the mitol rattling around inside. <laughs> And he just kind of, he stopped. I don't, I don't know if he realized we, his face was doing all kinds of different things, but he backed off then. But like, this is what we're talking about here. Well, we're not even treated as humans. And I got other stories too, but we'll save that for another time. Transformation is what we're going through. This whole thing is I'm deciding to be at peace within myself to reclaim myself on this very, very deep level. And I'm not taking it anymore. Now that is not to say, I'm not taking it anymore, so I'm going to be a rebel. And I'm going to blame others. We talk about this all the time. Um, ugh, I'm dumping my cards everywhere. Sorry. <laughs> but, you know, this whole thing of I'm not going to let people tell me or shame me for speaking up. Um, people who shy away, like if someone is being strong and they're saying what needs to be said, and other sensitive people around them are shying away and going, <laughs> okay, okay, you know. No. No. Other people do not need to do the heavy lifting for you. You can back them up quietly if you're too afraid of the confrontation. But don't you dare start apologizing for them. And don't you dare stand there and benefit from their strength and then make it seem like they overreacted. Don't you dare. Fake positivity. That's fake spirituality, all that nonsense. Patience. So this is probably even a message to me to have patience with others, which I'm running very low on these days. <laughs> but um, this is saying have patience with yourself. If you can see that a little girl has her hands over her eyes. And so this, that's funny that this popped out right as I was saying that, because it's kind of what people do when there might be an argument going on. They get scared, they get triggered. Okay, so okay, I do need to be a little patient then because it's like, I can't watch people fight. I can't watch another conflict. I don't have it in me. See, I just learned something, there you go. <laughs> but, but the thing is, is that, you know, people are trying to change. They're trying to, to make it, um, hold on. Okay, so there is help. There always has been help all around us. They are getting closer to helping, but they are being blocked from our vision. Now, there seems to be some sort of, uh, just give me a creeps, um, code or some, some rule, some loophole with human dynamics that says, well, if they choose not to see, then we can still be in power. The moment they see and they call it out, we have to go. We're not calling it out. We're choosing to close our eyes to it and see nothing. And part of that is because we are hanging on by a thread, most of us. We're exhausted. We're tired. All right.
peace. So many of us do not want to focus on peace. We want to focus on attaining, accomplishing something. I get it. I'm ambitious too. I like to feel like I've done a good job. Like <laughs> I think we all do. I like that. But um, it can't be at the cost of our peace. That's why we're seeing so many people come out and say, if this is who I am and this is how I want to live, nobody asks for your opinion. Why are you giving it? Why are you putting your two cents in or even making laws around things that are none of your business? Why are you commenting on something like the Little Mermaid? Because you just so can't let someone else have, honestly, that's the bare minimum. Casting Ariel as black, a beautiful, beautiful black young woman with, with like an insanely gorgeous voice. Are you kidding me? I can't wait to go see it. Uh, <laughs> but for people to come out, it's like, that's such, I mean, it's a big deal to, you know, a lot of little black girls and, you know, it's a big deal to the children who see themselves being represented. But to see them get that excited over that, it took so little to make them happy. That's such a small minor thing in this world. And look how happy they are. Something's up. We have to do better. We have to do better. Expression, that's me, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Every time, this has been coming up quite a bit. It's like she's, she's letting it all out because it's healing. Because we need the healing. So please pay attention to these messages here. Do not get in your ego. Part of being in your ego is thinking that you know more than anybody else. You do things better than anybody else. <sighs> Blah, I'm so sick of it. I'm so sick of it. You know what I'm going to do this week, y'all? I'm going to go outside Take pictures of nature, which you know I love to do. Half the posts that you see on YouTube are pictures that I've taken here in Colorado. I don't know if I want to stay in Colorado, so <laughs> I'm going to be making sure that I take lots and lots of photos. But um, yeah, because it's a Colorado is, you'll, you'll see from the comments, just the fact that I just admitted that I'm not from here and that I might be leaving. Anybody from Colorado? Not some of my like regular viewers, but you know how it is here. Okay, it's uh, anyway. So let's leave it there. <laughs> I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Bye -bye.